Stop the FOMO. Breaking news out of CES 2021. LG is launching their QNED TV this coming year. What? Yep. I know Samsung is thinking, wait, what just happened? First, we missed out on QD OLED. <laughs> now we're going to miss out on QNED. Oh, this is too rich. All right, let's make like Tesla and be shocked. One, one. Was building on Alexa versus coming daily under pressure. Working on so LG is getting us all hot and bothered for QNED TV. And well, let's dive into that a little bit because I know I've been talking about QNED <laughs> forever, getting everyone excited that this is the next generation that's better than OLED, almost as good as micro LED, if not challenging micro LED. So how is it possible that LG is releasing QNET already when we know that Samsung Display is still working on this whole QD color filter thing and they're saying that QNET won't be ready for at least another two years? Well, let's start with what happened this past October when LG, <laughs> shocking Samsung, applied for a trademark, QNET TV. So the trademark QNED was taken in September before Samsung had a chance at it. So of course, this will be LG QNED. Samsung is also, or has also applied for the QNED trademark as well. But this is where the similarities kind of part ways. We know Samsung Display is working on the QNED technology I've been talking about, which is quantum dot color filter with a backlight using nano rod LEDs, meaning the nano LEDs are even smaller than mini LEDs. And this is really next generation stuff at two levels. First level, quantum dot color filters moving to the front, replacing the current color filter technology. And the second part of this next generation is using nano rod LEDs, which are way smaller than mini LEDs that we hear about today. LG is not using this. <laughs> LG's QNED stands for, you ready for this? Quantum dot nano cell mini LED. Yes, it's not quantum nano cell nano rod that Samsung Display is using. This is truly good stuff that we're not going to see for a few years yet. What we're going to see next year from LG's QNED is quite simply a mini LED TV using, and this is the part that really hurts, and I'm hoping I'm wrong, but it feels like they're using existing LCD panel color filter, nano cell slash quantum dot. But at the end of the day, I get a bad feeling it's still an IPS panel. And we're gonna go into why this is a bad thing shortly, but I just wanted to make sure that on the one hand, the name QNED is quite exciting, right? It stirs a lot of excitement in the soul because, well, it's QNED, but it's not the QNED I've been promoting as next generation stuff. This is just LG's way of saying, hey, we have mini LED and uh, we're using nano cell LCD color filter like we've been using before. So if you combine nano cell and mini LED and some quantum dot crystals, uh, we can call it QNET which ultimately is nothing more than mini LED backlight with LG's existing LCD color filter in the front. And maybe there's a sprinkle of quantum dot somewhere there, but it's not in the color filter. I, it is most likely the quantum dot is in the, what we call the enhancement film layer, which is what's being used now by Samsung, TCL, Sony, everybody else, right? If there are quantum dots to be used, it is in the backlighting. Nobody has yet released a product where the quantum dot is in the color filter, and that's what QD OLED promises. So when you hear QD OLED or Samsung's QNED, that is when the quantum dot makes its way to the color filter. So let's dive into LG's QNED, not to be confused with Samsung's QNED, which is still about two to three years away. Okay, first and foremost, they're best implementation of the QNED technology, meaning maximum dimming zones, 
maximum mini LEDs is reserved for their larger sizes. Let's just say 86 inch. So let's pull out the 86 inch 8K QNED from LG. It will have 30,000 mini LEDs, but more importantly, 2,500 dimming zones on the 86 inch size. That's about 29 dimming zones per inch. In contrast to TCL's 8 series that was released uh, a year and a half ago, that had 1,000 dimming zones on a 65 inch, which is about 15 dimming zones per inch. So this is almost double the number of dimming zones. That's great news. So what does this mean ultimately? So there are two things we have to be aware of. First, if this 86 inch QNED uses LG's existing IPS panel rather than a VA panel, you'll have better shadow detail and you won't have the black crushing that the 8 series was known for. However, you might not get the same deep blacks that the VA panels are known for, but we don't know. Again, this is all new. We've never seen an IPS panel with that many mini LEDs behind it on an 86 inch TV. So quite possibly it could match a VA panel in terms of black levels, but I doubt it. And I'll tell you why shortly, but let's just say for the sake of argument, shadow detail will be great. Maybe black levels will be slightly lifted, but then you're not going to have black crushing. So on the 86 inch size with that many mini LEDs also, it should be significantly brighter. And this goes to the biggest shortcoming of LG's current nano cell TVs, which is they're a bit dim. Even their top of the line 4K TV this year, the nano 90, dimmer than Sony's X900H mid-tier TV. And it's that dimness that has been holding LG back, partly because LG doesn't want to make its LCD TVs too good. So here's the part of the quote from LG that makes you go, hmm, what's really happening here? They are confirming, affirming that OLED is the best technology out there. They're right, maybe it is, but partly they purposely held back <laughs> their QNED technology because if in fact they are not using a VA panel for their best TV, let's say the 86 inch, that means that they're leaving contrast on the table. With a VA panel, we know for a fact that your deep blacks <laughs> is actually a match for the LG OLED. And I'm using the Hisense H9G as an example, as well as the Q900TS. Both of these TVs, VA panel using quantum dot slash very, very good backlighting system, their blacks in many scenes easily indistinguishable from OLED 80% of the time, right? So the 20%, yeah, the OLED looks better, but let's say 80% of the time. Now imagine you take that VA panel and you put 30,000 mini LEDs behind it plus 2,500 dimming zones. Now, how good does this TV look? And I bet you they tried it and they're like, whoa, this looks better than OLED. <laughs> we got a problem. Because on the one hand, so you guys tell me what you think about this. If LG did some testing and they found that they actually made this TV look better than their 77 inch 4K OLED, brighter 95% of the time. Yes, and the 5% you're always gonna have OLED look a little bit better in some of those challenging scenes where self-emitting pixels will always be superior to contrast enhancement zones or dimming zones or mini LEDs. But let's say that's 5% or less of the scenes. In 95% of the scenes, where this VA panel with amazing mini LED and high number of contrast zones exceeds what the OLED can do, LG has a problem. It has an existential problem for its OLED series because OLED's expensive, right? And especially if they're going to be using the special cooling technology to raise the brightness of OLED, they're gonna charge more, but then consumers will consistently choose the mini LED with a VA panel for less. And when I say less, I mean, LG was very specific. They said that this LG QNET will be priced above last year's nano cell, which is you know, fair enough, right? It's mini LED, but below the OLED. 
But what gets me really excited is what was left unsaid for 2021 TVs. But before we go there, don't forget to subscribe or watch more videos if you enjoyed this content. TCL, Hisense, and Samsung will not be holding back. They will combine the best of VA panels, quantum dots, and mini LED to bring us what we believe could be the first time LCD exceeds OLED performance. Let me know what you think below. Until next time, stop the FOMO.